event blog and this is episode 14. In this episode, we're going to talk about peace of mind. This is a very important subject. I want these episodes to be very useful for you. And just as a reminder, Nelly is my grandmother's name, but it also stands for not enough love in life. Why? And I wanted to basically give a description to that. It is really important to love ourselves and to also love others as a result. If we don't have enough love for ourselves, unfortunately, there's no way we can love other people. And as a result, we cannot experience love fully in our lives. Having peace of mind brings joy regardless of your circumstances. This way you can go to bed without thinking about things that you haven't done yet or haven't done right. And that also relates to people as well. Make sure that everything you do right now, you go all in and you do your best. So what are those three the most important things to consider? Know who you are. Knowing who you are is crucial to your personal development, both with people and as an individual. So let's say you live your life and you discover there are things that you absolutely love doing. Basically what it means is that you lose track of time doing that. And that's usually when you really, really enjoy something that brings fulfillment. Also, know exactly what you want with people around you. Who do you want to surround yourself with? Do you want to surround yourself with people that are bad influence? Do you want to surround yourself with funny people that are good influence that really help you to release that full potential of yours that you can learn from, that you can discover this life with, that you can just have a great time around. It's up to us how to build our lives. And it's also very important to know the reason why. Like, why do you want to do that thing? It's so much to give that uh, when people really want to accept it, it brings crazy amount of happiness. And at the same time, you get to become better and better at it and you get to impress people, you get to impress yourself <laughs> because sometimes you'd be like, whoa, did I just do that? That's really cool. It can be anything. This is a good example. I heard a song, well, I heard several songs, but this song is called Strong Enough and this is a song I needed to hear and I am so grateful for this song today specifically because this song just gave me such a huge boost to do what I do, to love what I do and to be strong enough not to give up. And sometimes it means that you really don't need to be strong enough, like the song says, as long as there's a greater source behind you and you're doing something for the benefit of others. You are an individual that, that has something to give. And when you don't have anything to give, that's when you won't be able to uh, give love. Knowing who you are is crucial because then you know what kind of value you can bring into this world. Never think about the past. There are lessons we learn as we live. Sometimes we get reminded of those lessons. Sometimes we come across those lessons when something gets mentioned or when we read our own notes. But we should only focus on the present moment with the vision for the future without expectations. The past is the past. You cannot change that, but all the past happens for a particular reason. If experiences repeat, it means that there's still something to learn and it means that we have to work at it. Like we have to figure something out uh, for those experiences to stop happening. The most important part here is to recognize what is it going on right now <laughs> that we need to adjust, improve, um, and so on. Sometimes we're not wise enough to figure it out. When you don't do something, even if you did it a long time ago uh, or you did it yesterday, uh, if you don't do it, if you don't think about it, if you don't think about it, this is, uh, this is golden. If, 
If you think about something that you've done wrong, chances are you're gonna do it again. But if you can eliminate the thought that and replace it with something else, that's a guarantee fact that you won't do it again. And number three is do not analyze lives of other people. Here, while it seems like such a useful thing to do, like what if we look up to some people, right? What if it's a person we're extremely fascinated by, by what they do and how they do it? Well, that's not what I'm talking about here. Mainly, it's judgment of what others do wrong in our opinion, okay? So we have our own individual opinions about what other people might be doing wrong which in some cases might be the right thing to do for them. But, and this is a tough one, you know, because when we actually focus on others, at this particular moment, we're not focusing on us. We're not focusing on ourselves. If you're spending time thinking about somebody else, you could be spending this time thinking about your own projects, what do you need to do, how you need to do it, if there's anything you can do for some people in your life, etc., etc. Instead, you are thinking about other people, what they're doing, how they're doing it, and life is different for everybody. There are certain things that are common, like try to do good, love, love yourself, love others, you know, don't lie, don't do things against other people. Those are common things, right? But if one person decides to do one thing and you don't necessarily agree, that doesn't mean that that person is doing it wrong. It just means that what they're doing is their own business. You do your own thing. You do what you think is right and make it work for you. Those three things eliminated and you will have a much clearer mind especially while you're going for your goals and dreams. Because really, all you gotta do is your absolute best at the present moment. And remember that dreams don't just come true, we make them real. I'm curious what helps you to have a clear mind. Leave me a comment below, and I will see you in the next episode. Thank you for watching, bye.